importance of his music for not only for the history of music, but I think for humanity is so, so, so big that uh, he's absolutely top. After Ninth Symphony, he still wrote a lot of music, no more symphonies, unfortunately. But what could you write after after Symphony Number no. Nine? That would probably be uh, impossible. And uh, I think Beethoven Ninth is a pinnacle not only on his uh, his personal collection of uh, of, uh, of symphonies, but uh, it's a pinnacle of the symphony as a form of music. And uh, of course, the Ode to Joy, the last movement, is the most famous. But mm, it is it is an experiment because the form of it is very un unusual, something that history of music has not seen before, not only because uh, it includes for the first time in the musical history, the human voice as a part of it, uh, but, uh, but the form of it is very unusual and, uh, and uh, it truly, it's something very unique, but the previous movements, uh, they cannot be neglected in any way because the level of writing in the first movement to the maestri in which uh, he wrote second movement but which is simply incredible it's a you might say a simple rondo for scherzo, but uh, he just developed this uh, musical form coming from a dance-like menuet into something uh, something that never existed before. So, so the whole symphony, not only in its last movement, but the whole symphony is absolutely serious. many precious memories and uh, not only on stage but uh, I, I, I encountered many interesting people and, uh, and uh, most important for me were my uh, artistic experiences that, uh, that happened on the stage of Hilbert Circle Theatre and uh, many of these moments are very important to me so these memories are very very uh, special for me. Thank you.